Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now previously on Outer Limitless, we took a look at this knife. This is the Inception. This is an Outer Limitless design and this is manufactured by Shade Indonesia. At this point, this is a full production run. I've had these out, people have purchased them and I've had some excellent feedback. People really enjoying this knife. But once I got it in my hands, I realized I wanted to make a smaller version. So this here is the Inception 5. Now the original Inception is now considered to be the Inception 6. So the Inception 6 with a finger choil, that full length handle, and then the Inception 5 full length cutting edge, no finger choil, excellent ergonomic feel. And today we are going to look at, I guess what I'm gonna call the first production run. Now in this box, I do have a number of the Inception 5 models fully fabricated by Shade Indonesia. I also have some new prototype designs that I'm really excited to see. So I've been hard working behind the scenes with Shani from Shade Indonesia, getting to some good hard work. The guys at Shade Indonesia really pouring some hard work and effort into making this batch of blades. And so we're going to unbox this today. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to Shade Indonesia, who has made all of this possible with their hard work and dedication to their craft. Phenomenal, phenomenal work. Handmade, hand-forged knives. That's the first thing when we get into this, hand-forged knives. And the other thing is some of these are available at the time of this video. So if you like what you see here, do me a favor and reach out to me at outerlimitless at gmail.com. But now as we bust this open, I am absolutely pumped. Now, Shade does use a number of different materials. Uh, at this point, a number of different steels. For the most part, the Inception 5 is going to be at this time in 5160, which has performed extremely well. And then you'll see a couple other prototypes, one of them in Sleepner steel, which Shade is saying is their new sort of preference for some of their blades. But, oh man, you can see here a number of units here. Let's bust these out and get a look. And so as we get into this, this here should be five of the Inception 5, two of a brand new prototype, and one of another brand new prototype. And this is a lot of quality eye candy here. I can tell you that for sure. I am absolutely stoked to see what is in here. Which at this point, if you take a look here, you'll see I do have three of the Inception 5 with the green and black handles. Now you can see here, of course, everything wrapped. I am not going to fully unwrap this here uh, because I can show you this in reasonable detail so you'll be able to see everything. But the handle here, you can see in the green and black, which is literally the exact same handle as you see here on my production model, Inception 6. So you can see the detail here. It is basically a beautiful green and black micarta. You have the copper pins, the maker's mark. You end up with that nice black bolster. And then as we flip it here, this you can see does not necessarily have any liners but on the Inception 5, it does. And as we take a look at this in a little more detail, everything just beautifully done. The jimping, just perfect. And in fact, it's just kissed over the way I love it. Shade is knocking my designs out of the freaking park. This is phenomenal. And so at the time of this video, I do have three in the green and black variant available. All of them come with this beautiful 
leather deep ride pouch. So you can see here, nice and deep. So there's no way this knife could fall out of there. Excellent retention, beautifully welted, little drainage hole at the end, phenomenally well stitched, nice and even on the uh, die and just a gorgeous finished piece. Shade is doing a magnificent job, not just with the knife, but their leather work is absolutely fantastic. But this one here is the one that I am absolutely pumped to see. Awesome denim micarta, which I love. Looking phenomenal with those copper pins, the nice copper tubes, the maker's mark. Awesome palm swell. And this stuff is grippy. Man, that absolutely has just a killer grippy micarta texture to it. Now, as we take a look at the top here, everything just so perfectly done. Tight to the tang of the knife. No liners on this, but beautifully done fitting so perfect in the hand and as you take a look at the way this index is just perfectly comfortable i love it and the balance on this is literally exactly where you want it right in that choil area very comfortable and filling out the hand wonderfully nice overall palm swell and just awesome they nailed that jimping. It is literally perfect. Now, something that I see, which is a subtle design element, but just so nicely done, the actual lanyard hole here is chamfered just a bit. I love that. I think that's a great touch, so it's not going to chew up a lanyard. Just a real nice little detail on both sides. So both the forward and rear lanyard holes. Just awesome. You can see my Outer Limitless logo, so the designer logo there, Outer Limitless, and then on this side, Shade Indonesia. So again, just beautifully done. The Inception in 5160, and at the time of this video, I do have two of these in the denim micarta, so both available. If you see anything here that you like, do me a favor and reach out to me at Outer Limitless at gmail.com and then beyond that if there are other color combinations or anything that you would like you can certainly order one of these custom wait times are not bad at all with shade they work fairly quick all things considered so within a couple of months if you wanted to order one custom you can certainly do so so if you see something here that you like and you want a slightly different combination that can absolutely be accommodated so again just reach out for details outer limitless at gmail.com all right, so next, this is a prototype, and I wanted to produce this oh, for a long time. I've had this design sort of in the works, in my mind, for quite some time, but uh, timing was never quite right, and I have a grand plan for this. Now, I hope this feels the way I dreamed. This is a modern take on a classic design, which is always fun. But this here, this is the Outer Limitless Quartermaster, which a Quartermaster is definitely a militaristic sort of historical design. And here in Sleepner Steel, with a kydex sheath and as we pop this out ba boom here you have it the outer limitless quartermaster bolt on scales beautifully tumbled just insane this overall fit and finish right away i am stoked so the thing about the Quartermaster is, and not to say it's, and I definitely do not mean by any means an antiquated design, but typically it has a leather wrapped handle. It's not full tang. It doesn't have a choil. It doesn't usually have kydex. And so, well, here, the modern take on a quartermaster and as i index this into my hands yes this is exactly what i had hoped this has definitely a pretty good amount of weight to it but balance wise 
it's almost perfect. It's like right in that sweet spot where it's going to be neutrally balanced around your fulcrum, around that main grip where you index on the handle. And then let's see. Finger choil wise, yes, that's going to be great. Getting up in there, a nice full choil, my ability to get in there. Now pay attention to the fact that typically if you have an upper quillion or an upper guard, that can really get in the way of your finger choil. But here it's subtle enough and that ramp is subtle enough that you can really get in on this without a problem. Now I did talk to Shade Right away, I knew when I saw this that I was going to have a little bit of an issue. I need this fully softened and rounded out. That cannot be a point like that. Now, I'm not saying this is sharp, but what I'm saying is that is not as ergonomic as I need it. And also, on this pommel end, this is all supposed to be fully rounded out for comfort. So in a reverse grip, as you get over the top with your thumb, that does not leave any sort of hot spot. This all needs to be rounded out. And that's how I like my designs. And that's what I need it to be here. Now over the top, this is also supposed to be sharpened for scraping tasks. And I don't feel like that's sharpened or squared off at all. So the modern quartermaster in my mind needs to do all that field work, including the fire prep tasks. For me, a field knife like this has to be a survival class knife. And if you can't use this to scrape, it's not going to do it. So right away, I think there may have been a little bit of a loss in some of the translation. I'll need to clarify that as I move forward from prototype and into the final production model. But from a get-go, wow, this is just phenomenal. I am absolutely stoked about this. Now, the Kydex, I have never seen Shades Kydex before. So this is my first go around with them. Dots style lock. I will have to check all the spacing on everything to kind of see how that lays out. Now, I didn't have too much design input into the Kydex. I can see already a little bit of a drainage hole, so that's cool. Um, very simple. Seems to be fairly well made. It may be a little thinner than I would typically like. This seems a little thin for my needs, so maybe I'll work with shade on that and get a gauge thicker. Um, but overall, let's check the fit. So in terms of the fit, that seems pretty good, but a little bit loose there. And then in terms of a ramp that pushes out pretty well, this is a little sharp. I'm going to be critical of all of this because yes, this is a prototype, but it absolutely has to meet my fit and finish and overall design aesthetic and criteria for comfort, carry capability, and optimum performance. This is close, but it's not there yet. That's the nice thing about a prototype. At this point, I can tweak on it. And so last but not least, this is such a special, special moment for me because I designed this knife with my son, Brandon. So you only get one chance to open your first prototype. So this is our first collaborative prototype. Yep. So we're going to open this up. So what did we name this? Uh, the Greenhorn Bowie. Greenhorn Bowie. What's a greenhorn? A rookie. Like a rookie on a crew or whatever, right? So there's a specific reason why we designed this the way yeah. that we did, right? The handle was designed to fit the average sized hand of a kid between the ages of 10 and 16. All right. So that's the thing, right? So a lot of, I would say like fathers or parents or whatever here, I'll take the wrap off of this and then you can be careful because you'll yeah. you gotta be careful on the blade there. All right. But a lot of fathers, you know, kind of getting their kids into these sort of bushcrafty tasks or, you know, camping or things like that. You, there are options. So, you know, for the longest time, I mean, this was yours, you know, right, nice, yeah. you know, a more, a simple, cheap, but I wanted to design something with you 
that really would be the average for a kid as they're getting into this a, you know a good robust and and stout knife and this is what we came up with so yeah we designed it together how long do you think it took us oh uh, like 20 minutes maybe <laughs> <laughs> probably about 20 minutes we work quick but this yeah. is what we came up with maybe it was more like a half an hour but the greenhorn bowie so I'll get into this in a little bit more detail. Now, uh, talk about the, the grind. Uh, it has a high saber grind. Yep, so a high saber grind. I like that because a high saber grind actually allows for some splitting. It's going to be a little bit uh, more robust. And then uh, what about the tip? It has a drop point design. Kind of a drop. This is a, a bit of a clip, so, you know, drop point or clip point design. Yeah. It's a little bit of a hybrid, actually. It's a drop and a clip together. So uh, some pretty cool features. So let's spin the camera around and take a look at it in your hands. All right, so talk about it fit, fitting in your hands. It fits my hand really well. Um, so at this point, I mean, you're 13, right? Yeah. So as a 13-year-old, fits your hand really comfortably and even for an adult so as you see for me that's going to be about a and i'd call it a shorter four fingered grip but for you know for a, a kid right. uh, you know the youth literally fits your hands about perfect, perfect. now how talk about the sort of the, the comfort in your hand the handle's really nice because it's smooth and it doesn't like rub on your hand well and you have a really nice firm grip on the knife um you have a really thick some thumb support on the top. Yep. And then how do you feel about the way, see how we kind of sculpted this? I mean, this is the stuff that, that takes a while to get it right. I mean, how do you feel about how that, how that feels now that you have it in your hands? Really good. About perfect, yeah. right? Good. It feels really nice. So we actually went and we took a bunch of measurements of uh, both, you know, both of my sons. So 10 year old hand. Uh, so this is the average sort of measurements for, you know, a 10 year old. And then, you know, I took Brandon's measurements and I looked at the typical adult hand and sort of made all of these comparisons. And that's how we came up with this overall size. Now the blade itself having a number of different features that are going to be pretty much what you'd see in, you know, typical uh, bushcraft knives or wilderness knives or things like that but now giving all the same features to a kid who is learning. So generally speaking, very, very good. Again here, it's the Greenhorn Bowie, man. Yep. All right, so moving forward, what do you think? Some field testing in the future? Yes. All right, so we'll get these out. We'll do some field testing, and uh, we'll see how it performs. That's when it really gets fun. Yeah. So nice. Congratulations. Your first collaborative design. Next time, it's all your own. <laughs> and so, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at today's Shade Indonesia batch. Always fantastic to the people at Shade Indonesia. Absolutely phenomenal work. They always hit it out of the park. Shawnee is absolutely amazing at what he does. His whole crew, fantastic. And the craftsmanship is just second to none. Just so beautifully done. So again, I do have a number of the Inception 5 models at this time ready to go. So if you like what you see here, do me a favor, reach out to me at outerlimitless at gmail.com. And then beyond that, just, you know, now that I have some production knives moving and getting into some more prototypes, absolutely awesome. I'm psyched about this OL Quartermaster, the modern take on the Quartermaster. Now, again, I know that there are some things that I will be changing. Very subtle, but at the same time, it will make a difference. So this should be ready for production fairly soon. And beyond all of that, I'm just so proud to now have a design that is co-designed with my son. He's been around me long enough working on these things. He's stepping in, he's starting to design and getting involved. I love that. He's 13, but taking an interest in all of this and just knocking this little greenhorn Bowie out of the park. I love it. So I'm just proud at this point. I'm proud of the work. I'm proud of all the effort and I'm proud of the result. Everything coming together nicely. So to all of you, thank you so much. I do 
greatly appreciate all of your support. I appreciate you following along and I appreciate your business. So again, if there's anything that you like, please reach out in any way, shape or form, comments below, or if you like what you see here, outerlimitless at gmail.com. So, all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.